Hello everyone, welcome to PV Maths. Today in this video, I'm going to solve a problem which is from PRMO 2013. The question is, there is a right angle triangle, right angle at C, and the perpendicular bisector of this hypotenuse AB intersect line segments AB and AC at two points X and Y respectively. If the ratios of areas of this quadrilateral BXY, C and triangle ABC is 13 is to 18 and also it is given that BC is equals 12 centimeter. Then what is the length of this line segment AC? Here we need to calculate the length of AC. To calculate first, let's find out the ratio of the areas of a triangle AXY and triangle ABC. First, we are going to write this area of BXYC divided by area of triangle ABC is equal to 13 by 18. We can get the area of BXYC by subtracting the area of a triangle AXY in the area of triangle ABC. So, area of this quadrilateral BXYC is equal to, you can rewrite it as area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle ABC is equal to 13 by 18. Means if you subtracted the area of this triangle AXY in the entire triangle ABC, we get the area of the quadrilateral bx y c now we can rewrite it as area of triangle a b c divided by area of a triangle a b c minus area of a triangle a x y by area of a triangle a b c is equals 13 by 18 here you can cancel these two then by shifting this one to other side we can write 1 minus 13 by 18 is equal to area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle ABC. Here let's solve this one. 18 is 18 ones are. So 18 minus 30 divided by 18 is equal to area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle ABC. So here 18 minus 30 we get 5. So 5 by 18 is equal to area of triangle AXY by area of triangle ABC. Now we have the ratios of the areas of these two triangles AXY and ABC. Now let's compare these two triangles in triangle AXY. Sorry. And in triangle ABC, we know that both triangles have an angle which is equals to 90 degrees. So we can write angle X equals angle C is equals 90 degree. Then these two triangles have a common angle A. So angle A is equals angle A which is the common angle. So with the help of A theorem, angle angle theorem, we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other. Therefore, triangle AXY is similar to triangle ABC under AA theorem. Now we proved that these two triangles are similar to each other. Then we know that their corresponding sides are in equal proportion. Then we can write AX by AC is equal to xy by bc is equal to ay by ab and also we know that in any two similar triangles the ratios of areas of those two similar triangles are always equals to the square of the ratios of their corresponding sides on that base we can write area of triangle axy divided by area of triangle ABC is equal to, since we need to find out the length of AC, we are going to take this part AX by AC whole square. 
area of triangle AXY divided by area of triangle ABC is equals 5Y18. So 5Y18 is equals, look at here, X is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we can write that AX is half of AB. Since X is midpoint of AB, we are going to write AX as half of AB whole square divided by AC square. Then 5Y18 is equals 1 by 4 into AB square divided by AC square. Then we are further simplifying AC 5 by 18 is equals AB square by 4 into 1 by AC square. Then by doing cross multiplication we can write 5 into 4 divided by 18 is equals AB square by AC square. Here we can cancel 4 and 18, 2 twos are, 2 nines are, so 5 twos are 10 by 9 is equals AB square by AC square. In this right angle triangle ACB, AB is the hypotenuse and you know that in any right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse is always equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So instead of writing this AB square, we can write it. AC square plus BC square. So 10 by 9 is equals AC square plus BC square divided by AC square. Let's do cross multiplication. By doing cross multiplication, we can write it. 10 times of AC square is equals 9 times of AC square plus 9 times of BC square. Then shift this 9 times of AC square to this side. 10 times of AC square minus 9 times of AC square is equals 9 into, we have the value of BC which is equals to 12, so 12 square. 10 times of AC square minus 9 times of AC square means AC square is equals 9 into 12 square means 144. Then AC is equals square root of 9 into 144 which is equals to 3 into 12 therefore the length of AC is equals 12 threes are 36 centimeter I hope you got the solution thank you for watching the video